Yo, what's good everyone? Wesley Paul here back with another one and today we are going to be looking at using automation on our beats. Now once again, this is going to be mostly aimed towards beginners and new users of the software. So if you are more experienced, this one may not be for you, but feel free to stick around if you want to. Now like I said, we're going to be looking at automation. More specifically, on our MIDI track here where we've added our inserts and we've put effects on there, how to automate those. One thing I haven't worked out how to do yet, and I'm not sure if you even can, is to automate effects that are on either your sub mix or on your output channel. I'm not sure if you can automate those, but um, definitely you can the ones that are on your uh, MIDI track here. So I'm going to be keeping it as basic as I can. There's always more than one way of doing things, but I'm just going to show you how I do it. So let me play you the track that we're going to be working on today. So this is the drums. What we're going to do is also make this second half of the drum set. Okay, so what we're going to do is add a filter. So I've got air filter gate loaded up here and I've got pan filter preset loaded up here. So we're gonna let the drums play for the first four bars and then for the second four bars, we're gonna add in this filter. So what we need to do is make sure we've pressed on the air filter gate and in this section here, all of the Q links for that specific effect will come up here and then at the top right yeah this is the automation button here we need to click on it and make sure it goes to red okay so what we need to do on this one is turn the mix up and down at the moment it's on a hundred percent we need to turn that down so it's on zero and then we're going to turn it up to 100 to kick in when we get right about here Then you just come out here, turn it off. Make sure it goes back to, to read because if you leave it on right and you do anything else, it will it will record it in. So make sure you always go back into read. And as you can see, I've put some automation in here. Now what you can do is come over to your pencil tool here. I can just click here to add another point and make sure that at the end of there, it goes back to normal. And I've got some extra points in here. I can just get rid of these if I want to. Oops. So you can always come and fine tune. As you can see here, it's not right in time. If I wanted to, I can just adjust that and move it across and adjust it how I see fit. So you can manually do it as well. Even if I wanted to add more automation in up here, I could just press in here and just add some more in there. But that's not what I want to do. Okay. So that is one way to add automation in. Should we have a little listen back? Yeah, so we've added that in there. So let's have a look at another instrument. So on this one, we're going to do two types of automation. So I've got the XY effects loaded up and we're going to add some tape stop. Yeah. So go in there, make sure tape stops loaded up there. Like I said, once you press on the effect here, then this bit here will show you the Q links. Make sure you're on screen for this bit. Yeah. Because we're going to use the enable bit here. So let's play it. So every time I turn that up, it does the tape stop effect. Okay, so once again, turn that onto right. We're going to play it from the beginning. We're going to press play and then um, add the tape stop effect. Yeah, turn that off. So 
same as before, if I wanted to go in and edit this and move it. So even if I wasn't happy with the position, what I can do is I can just highlight everything like that together and I can move it across if I wanted to, if I wanted it to be there, there, wherever I wanted it. Yep, let's move that over a bit there. Cool. So we can do that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a low pass filter onto this one as well. So I'll turn that on. We're going to press there. And we're going to add the filter come into effect the same place where it did on the drums. So let's put that back onto right. Press play. Turn that off. Let's head up with the drums. Cool. Put some automation on there as well. Now, what you can do as well, at the moment I was just using the, the stock effects, but you can do it with um, third party effects as well. Let me just close these down. So I've got this third party effect, M Rivermizer. And I've got this um I've got it to reverse. This reverse effect in there. So let me just actually mute that. Let's just play this part of the beat. So what I've done is so if I put that on, it adds that effect to it. Yeah. But if you see here, now at the Q link section, I don't have a, any of these, these, these knobs isn't going to uh, do the effect that I want it to do. Yeah, so that's no good to me. So what I'm going to do is where it's a screen here, I'm going to go into program. And then I'm going to look at these, which one, and then I'm going to find the one I want to get rid of, which one I don't need. So this glide mode. I'm going to get rid of this one and I'm going to turn it into what I want to turn it into. Yeah. So press on the I here. And then it's got q -lib parameter. So it's got glide mode. I'm going to press there and I'm going to go to insert one because my effect M Rivermizer is on insert one. And then I'm going to scroll all the way down until I look for where it, um, where it says wet or dry or dry wet, where it's got that here. And now I've changed that Q link. So then we can close that. So now, if I press play, that's dry, and then wet. Yeah, so we can record that in now, because once again, on the second half, I want it to kick in, but not on the first half. So, Let's put our automation back on. Press play. Cool. Yep, turn that off. So we get rid of that now. So there as well. There's automation. So you can change these as well. So if you've got anything here and, and it's not what you want, you want to change these, just press on the I and you can uh, um, change these to whatever you want them as well. Okay, so let's play everything together now. Oh, let's hope if I unsolo it. There you have it. And that's how you can use automation in your beats. So I'm going to leave that one off there and just say thank you for watching. Take care. Peace out. See you at the next one.